portion of the show, we feature those three little words men find so hard to say. I don't know. Okay. Today's letter reads as follows. Dear experts, I have a rather unusual problem. I'm a happily married man, yet I have fallen in love with another woman. Oh, geez, read another letter. Something about it. Get something on time travel or putting a barbecue together. No, 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 no. This is exactly the type of letter that we should be answering. It gives all of us a chance to show our sensitivity and compassion. <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead, Winston. Harold will answer it. <laughs> okay. Whenever I see her, my heart beats faster, I get a lump in my throat, and I break out in a cold sweat. Okay, could be love. Could be malaria. <laughs> my guess is, if it lasts, it's probably malaria. You said I can answer this one. All right, I'm sorry. Let me answer it. Let me answer it. Right. Let me answer All right. it. Me answer All it. Right. Go ahead, Mr. I'm not a nut or anything. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whenever they say they're not a nut, they're not. He's <laughs> not a nut! He's a person with a problem, and we are going to help him solve it. Read on, Winston. I'm in love with Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Should I tell my wife now or wait until I'm king? Signed. <laughs> signed on the throne. Okay, I'm gonna need a minute. Uh... Well, I'm not. Don't tell your wife a thing until you become king. That way, if she gives you any grief at all, you can have her locked up in Scotland. <laughs> That's not how you become king. I mean, for instance, who, who's the, what's the name of the husband of Queen Elizabeth right now? Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Exactly, not King Philip. See, marrying the queen doesn't automatically make you king. Geez, I never noticed that before. Yeah. See, I think this fellow's gonna have to rethink his whole plan. I don't think the answer is marrying Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, I agree. That'd be weird being married to the queen. Having your face on all your money? Instead of just having her hands on your money. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, Bernice. No, no, my, my advice to this person is, if, if you want to be married to a queen, then you could practice by treating the wife you have like one now. You know what? That is sound advice for any married man. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, Red Green here. I want to tell you about a brand new project. It's like nothing you've ever heard before, unless you're my age. They call it a podcast, but it's way, way more than that. In a podcast, somebody just tells you what they think. But with us, you know, that would never fill a half hour. So instead, we do handyman stuff. Plumbing and electrical, carpentry and auto mechanics. We invent things and fix things and improve things and sometimes destroy things. And we have a ton of special guests, including my nephew, Harold. Oh, you got it. Ranger Gord, Dalton Humphrey, and Winston Rothschild doing what he does best. Sometimes we bring animals right into the lodge. We let you hear the sights of the whole Possum Lake area. We get out there and we take you with us. Plus we answer mail from our supporters and give advice on life and plenty of other stuff we like to call filler. We don't have ads or sponsors. Instead, we're asking people like you to support us. It's a great way for you to go to Possum Lodge for a visit every month. It'll be good for you. You can get on board for as little as a dollar a month and you can quit any time. Go to redgreen.com, click on the link. Oh, and one other thing, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>